Welcome to KK's Quilt Studio. Today's subject is Where Did It All Go? Making the Change from Pro Stitcher Standard to Pro Stitcher Premium. If you're watching this video today, you may have already made the change, the upgrade to Pro Stitcher Premium, and are a little bit frustrated or confused about um, where all the buttons went. Uh, where to go to find a certain technique, how to set things up. While this isn't a technique class today, I hope to show you some of the old features of Pro Stitcher Standard and where to find them in Pro Stitcher Premium. The changes have been significant and it can be a little frustrating when um, the screens look so different. But a feature in Pro Stitcher Premium is that Pro Stitcher Standard is still available to go back to. But I encourage you to start to use Pro Stitcher Premium more. And this video is, I hope, a way to go from standard to premium. We're going to switch back and forth between the screens and I hope that I can show you some of the features found in Pro Stitcher, where they are located now in Pro Stitcher Premium, and a few of the new upgrades. While I won't be, I will be showing you um, the new Pro Stitcher Premium and how, how to locate the tools and techniques from standard. This isn't a technique class. This isn't how to use Pro Stitcher. It's just an informational class. And I hope with this this class I will it will encourage you to use Pro Stitcher Premium, become comfortable with the new locations, and I guarantee you you'll you'll begin to like Pro Stitcher Premium even more every day. So without further ado, let's go to the first screen, our old Pro Stitcher standard. This is what the screen uh, looks like when you open up. I've already loaded up a design, and this is in simulation mode um, on my laptop computer, so it is not in the uh, actual screen or you would find on your tablet on your machine. So this is what, what we had when we opened up. Remember we had the information up here about our design, design name, design size, and of course our crosshairs, our machine crosshairs. Um, and we basically dealt with four menus, four drop-down menus, design, quilt, settings, and shutdown. Those, those have changed. They They are no longer um, drop-down menus. Let's go to Pro Stitcher Premium. And you'll see that now we have tabs across the top of the screen. Eight tabs and a ribbon. So each tab has a new horizontal ribbon with selections and we're going to dis discuss how to compare old Pro Stitcher with new Pro Stitcher Premium. So the first screen that you would see when you click on your drop down menu design in the old Pro Stitcher was the file selection. And remember our buttons or selections were across the bottom. We could open, close, save a file, and so forth. Now, in Pro Stitcher Premium, when we click on the File tab, these are choices across the top. They're no longer across the bottom. So in order to open a file, we need to go to Design, and you'll notice that our most recent files 
are listed below. So this is going to be different on your screen according to which files you've opened up. If you click on open, it will take you to your C drive, D drive, and F is my flash drive. So I will open that same design. It's under the Handy Quilter Designs. And there it is. And open. Similar operation to our old Pro Stitcher standard. You'll see across the top of our screen we get the same information, the name of the file, the height, and we also have a sidebar that's new. We get the design name, design width, and height. But we've also got some other information on our workspace. Our workspace contains the name of the file. If I had more than one file, it would name each one here. So that's something new. We can uh, go across the ribbon bar here. We have a choice to go to different workspaces or save a workspace to save an area. So we can click on that little down arrow and open an area that we've saved or maybe a workspace that we've saved. That's new. We can choose to clear our entire space. Say we have several designs and maybe repeated designs. We can clear the entire workspace here. And this is our update. If any updates come further along uh, down the road, this is where we go now to upgrade, upgrade our software. And now the shutdown button is also found under file. So this is, this is more similar to if you think to other Windows um, programs that you use when, under Windows operating systems. These kind of commands would be found under the file tab of pretty much any Windows program operation that you use. So it makes sense to put the shutdown here just like you would find in any other screen. Going back to the old Pro Stitcher, you find that the shutdown button is here at the bottom of your menu selection. So the main difference you'll see between the two programs is that several of the drop-down items from the design menu have been brought over to that horizontal bar. So if you take note of all these items, when we flip over to Pro Stitcher Premium, you can see that they have been brought up to this horizontal tab. And we're going to cover these tabs in uh, showing you where they were located on Pro Stitcher Standard and now in the tabs across the top in Pro Stitcher Premium. While they are not necessarily in the same order, I'm going to be following the old Pro Stitcher standard uh, drop down menu, and then we'll come back to where it's located in Pro Stitcher Premium. So let's go to the next drop down menu on the design, which is we f what we would find is our area. This is where you would um, set up an area to either set your block or um, a whole series of blocks and edge to edge, edge design to establish your quilt boundaries. And you remember here we have buttons to help us establish how to set up that area. In Pro Stitcher Premium, we have two areas <laughs> named area, and they are different. This is to remember save or open an area open an area that you've previously have saved, 
this is where you establish that area. So um, similar buttons, we have um, area and you may set it up same way, crosshair, set it up two corner or multi point and you can define, further define by changing these areas over here. You um, have the choice to type in a number. Going back to ProStitcher Standard, our next item is Rotation. And remember we can change the settings of our design by rotating it. Maybe you want this design on point, you want to mirror or flip it. This is where you would do it in ProStitcher Standard. Where is that on Pro Stitcher Premium. Well, it's under Modify. And let's select my design so that my buttons light up. If you have that problem, your buttons are all grayed out, just be sure to select the button and then they light up. And now you'll see that a couple things have been incorporated. We not only have Rotate, but we have Reposition. And Reposition was found in a separate menu in ProStitcher Standard. Remember this one was just rotation. But Reposition was also found on the Design drop-down menu lower down on the screen. So here was rotation, here is reposition. In ProStitcher Premium, these have been combined under the Modify. So any changes you're going to be making to a design, think I'm, I'm modifying that design. I'm rotating it, I'm repositioning it. Oh, and look, Crop is also been brought into here and swapping of your start and end points. So you'll remember going back to standard, now we have reposition, swap and end. Those have all been incorporated into one area of file modification or modify. So you'll also find your crop button here. So you'll see that many of the design choices that you had in Pro Stitcher Standard under the design that have to do with modifying a design are found under Modify now. Well, how, how do I get my information that was normally found down here at the bottom of the page? When you select a tool from the ribbon, you'll see that it appears over here and you have all your choices, whether to rotate, um, res reset, mirror, flip, or custom rotation at one click or you can change this button also as well simply by highlighting and typing in a, a new number. You'll find that reposition, you can also nudge, move the design to a corner, you can drop and drag, your go reposition your start point and your end point. Your resizing, cropping commands, they're all found over here to the right. So you'll find maybe that makes it easier to have all your modification tools in one area. I think it does. Flipping back to the Pro Stitcher standard, we'll see that while most of the tools we've discussed, Repeat does have its own tab now 
in Pro Stitcher Premium. So it was found under designs, but when we go to repeats after we've established an area or need to repeat the design um, for some reason, that now is found under the repeat tab, not not modify, but repeat. Pro Stitcher Premium, the repeat tool is found here in a tab and select the basic design or a wrap and now we have vertical and horizontal choices, pluses and minuses, so we can repeat it vertically just click on the plus and repeat it horizontally. Click on the plus or take away on the minus. We also have point to point. That's grayed out right now because I haven't um, set up an area and fit. If we were going to fit a design to an area, stretch it. These are commands you should be familiar with if you've worked in Pro Stitcher Standard. So just to remember, Repeat has its own tab. Going back to Standard, we will notice that Art and, our Art and Stitch tab was here at the bottom of the Design drop-down menu. In Pro Stitcher Premium, it is now found under Tools. If we click on Tools and go to our Art and Stitch tab, and if you've seen any of my YouTube videos, I explain how you can get from Pro Stitcher Premium into Art and Stitch quickly. So before we go too far, let's discuss some of the buttons found across the top of the screen of Pro Stitcher Standard. Now. This button, of course, you won't see because I am in simulator mode on my laptop. You won't see this on your uh, long arm quilting tablet setup, but um, we do have help, half stitch, full stitch, grid. Where, where do we find those? Let's talk about these four buttons first. They are now under a tab called Pro Stitcher. These are kind of your, okay, I'm getting ready to stitch buttons. So here is your half stitch, your full stitch, follow, which is found on standard on the right hand side across the top. Here is your channel lock, which before, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. And your gears, to disengage your gears when you want to go to, um, Free motion quilting, that's all found now under the Pro Stitcher tab. Going back, we'll find Zoom, Drag, and Ruler. Those are now found. We've got a, a difference between Measure and Measure and Ruler. This is a new tool, and this is a ruler. They are different. In another video, we'll discuss um, about what what those items are for. These are, I guess, your quick access tabs. You can call that. There's a little ribbon here, and you're wondering what what are all these new little buttons? They um, are set up when you first install Pro Stitcher Premium, and you can change them. And again, we'll we'll talk about that in another video. But uh, just to know, these are some of your quick access features here in Undo Tool. So that will undo the last thing that you did. Remember, and that was found down here in the lower right-hand corner of your Pro Stitcher standard. So these are quick access buttons that you can use anytime, anywhere. Your uh, refresh buttons are going to be found down here on the bottom. This is probably off screen. Um, move the screen up a little bit. Your refresh home button here. And in 
our old Pro Stitcher standard. Remember the refresh button was found up here. So that's a little bit different moving from the top to the bottom of the screen down here. Bring that back down and again that ruler was found here. It was up here on your Pro Stitcher Premium right here. Same same tool, just different location again. So in um, dealing with the Pro Stitcher tab, going back to standard, remember our, our quilt tab. So we've closed out of the design tab. We've opened up the quilting drop-down menu and you'll see we have stitch, the status, new start and end, move, and there's our channel lock. Going to Pro Stitcher, we're under the Pro Stitcher tab and Pro Stitcher Premium. You'll see that here's our channel lock. Those buttons have moved here. So they've, they've kind of incorporated a whole series of buttons under that Pro Stitcher tab. I'm going back again and looking at what we had available under the quilt drop down menu. You also have your tie off, your selections whenever you're stitching. If you want to tie off at the beginning, at the end, have an automatic pull up or a pull up, pull up and auto um, slide over. In Pro Stitcher Premium, those items are found here to the right hand side. But hey, look, run is still kind of in the same lower left-hand corner. One thing that probably hasn't changed. So when you get ready to quilt and your run button is right here, it hasn't moved. That's one thing that's the same. Happily, some things remain the same. Going back to Pro Stitcher standard screen, this time let's talk about new starts and ends. That can be very important if you uh, break a thread or run out of bobbin thread. Remember this is how we get to a new starting point and here's the setup where we are, the button we would select, and the numbers where, where we are in the stitch out line. And we go to Pro Stitcher Premium and that new start end button is found here and we have the same little, same little sliders, but instead of being horizontal, they're now vertical. Um, pretty much the same. Um, your start auto will start where you set your machine, and um, this number here will change. So we'll tell you the new starting point. And I'll have a video probably later this month on how to find that new starting point whenever you break a thread or um, have to run out of bobbin thread. That seems to be a, a big problem with a lot of folks. They're, they're not quite sure how to do it in the new Pro Stitcher, but, uh, Pro Stitcher Premium, but it hasn't changed that much. Pretty, pretty much the same, same technique. Now, the next tab under Pro Stitcher Premium is View. And a lot of these, this is where your ruler is found, this, this guy right here, is a lot of this is going to be new. Um, you turning on your grid and you have this uh, choice to turn on here. This has been moved to the quick start selections. Um, some of this is new, some of it's not. I'm gonna, not going to go into explaining um, all the tools and how they work. Rubber band is a new tool that's found in Pro Stitcher Premium. So um, we'll talk about that again in another another feature. But again, here's, here's another item, um, another tab with a, a few new tools that weren't found in Pro Stitcher Standard. Okay, going back one last time to Pro Stitcher Standard. Um, our last choice here before shutdown was our settings. 
selections, this drop down menu. And um, you see we had choices here, how to change our stitches per inch and uh, tie offs, pull ups. We just covered where to find those, set the speed of your machine. So now where do we find those in Pro Stitcher Premium? They are now found up here, this little gear widget, this tab, and there are our settings. And again, we have choices over here, and these are actually um, information about the repeat we've done here. So this this has more to do with our display and our workspace setup. But that's that's where we find it. The, all the tools that were located in settings, that little gear, remember that that picture? That's now found in this little gear at the upper right hand corner of your Pro Stitcher Premium. While we're in this corner, we've got two little question marks. Well, what's the difference? This one, this is the About tool, which gives you information about your Pro Stitcher Premium, which version you have. And this is our Help button. And this little question mark here gives us our on-screen um, manual, so it is searchable. This is similar to any other program you have you would have, and all your help topics are located in here. So that's what that little question mark is for. What about this blue question mark? Well, there it is. If we click on that, it gives us a little dialog box and tells us what's that for. Well, it's a help button. It's an on-screen help button. We can click any item on the screen. That will tell you that's a zoom tool. That will tell you, oh, that's follow. So this can be very helpful because we didn't have this feature before. And... Um, if you have questions about any of the new tools, what they're for, what it does, just click on that little blue question marks. And again, turning our motors on and off, that is a similar screen to um, enable motors that we had in Pro Stitcher Standard. And last but not least is how to shut down. Shutdown was our last selection on the uh, drop-down menus. Came up with a shutdown, a reboot, or exit to Windows. If you're on your machine and you're done for the day, you just simply shut down. If you're using uh, simulation on the computer, I always encourage you to exit to Windows because that will... Um, take you back out to your Windows screen, shut down will close or shut off your computer altogether. Ask me how I know. And going back to Pro Stitcher Standard, now remember shutdown is under File. So if you need to shut down for the day, you'll simply click Shutdown. You get a drop down to uh, do one of the three tasks we just we just talked about. Either shut down which totally shuts down your system, your tablet on your uh, long arm machine, or will shut your uh, computer down when you're using Simulator, or exit to Windows. Exit to Windows now will take you back out if you're on your tablet at your long arm quilter. Exit to Windows will take you out to your uh, desktop screen on your tablet, and you will see there you have two shortcuts, one to open Pro Stitcher Premium and one to go back to Pro Stitcher Standard. So if you ever find 
You just need to go back to standard for any reason. You can switch between those two programs now um, on your on your tablet on your screen. So just remember to exit to Windows, and that pretty much covers it. I I hope I've touched on everything, given you a um, good overview on where everything can be found now in comparison to your Pro Stitcher standard, what you might have been used to. I encourage you to play with it. Use Simulator to become familiar with where things are, um, bring in a design, do some mock-ups, do some uh, mock-up area layouts, and play with the tools. And I guarantee you, the more you use it, the more you like it, and you'll become familiar with where things are and how how the the layout has changed. I think it's for the better. I think you'll end up loving it more. So I hope this has been uh, helpful to you. I thank you for joining me. Always come back for more. Um, leave a suggestion. Uh, leave likes. If there was anything I missed, something you'd like to see in the future. And thanks for joining me at KK's Quilt Studio. And happy sewing.